Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use the ADI Connect app to display in-flight weather on third-party applications. In this example, I am going to use ForeFlight. This video um, applies to the ADI 110, 120 and 130 devices and the ADI Connect for Iridium Go solution. On the other ADL devices, ADL 140 to ADL 200, there is a direct weather data broadcast from the device, which is different from the procedure shown in this video. So this video is really about how the ADL Connect app can bring third-party application weather features to legacy devices and the Iridium Go solution. So the very first step is to make sure the ADI Connect app has got the proper authorization. So we go to the general settings of the iPad and then we scroll down to the privacy section and then we make sure that the location services are on and further when we select the ADI Connect app that it's configured on the always setting. That's very important because uh, might not be obvious, but this uh, always location authorization also implies that the ADI Connect app is able to run in the background and broadcast the weather data to other applications. Now that we are sure that the configuration is right, I can switch over to the ADI Connect app. For this example, I'm connected to an Iridium Go device, but it would be exactly the same for an ADI 110, 120 or 130. So I did already download some weather from a route to Norway and as you can see there's quite some weather activity on the Norwegian coast. So now I can switch over to the ForeFlight app. As you can see on the top left corner of the screen, ForeFlight is already displaying that it's receiving data from the ADL app and now we have to wait a few moments and then the radar picture should appear. I go to the settings, make sure the radar composite is selected, which it is, and now it just takes a moment until the weather data comes out. Here it is, and we see we have all the same weather information we had in the ADI Connect app now displayed on the ForeFlight map. If you do any weather updates on the ADI Connect site or even select the automatic 15 minutes downloads, the weather will update all the time automatically in the third party app, in this example for flight. While obviously the radar feature is the most important one, I switch, but I also switch over to the infrared cloud tops, which is the infrared data from the ADS system, which is also displayed, and um, if there's any lightning activity that would show up also, but uh, today there's no lightning in this weather system. So I hope this short video gave you an introduction how the ADS system can now interact on any ADL device from the very first one to the latest ADL 200 device with uh, third-party apps. Thanks a lot for watching and fly safe.